has a lot of creative writing books. Yay! Hey guys, it's Danger Devs, and now I'm going to talk about a happy topic because I just ranted about bullying and it wasn't nice at all. I filmed it in my office. I was filming there now, but some clock alarm is going off next door and I can't stop it because next door neighbor's not in. So I'm just going to film in here about one of my hobbies. One of my hobbies is creative writing and it all happens in one of these books. I have a lot more writing books, but I'm just going to show you these ones. These are my favourite ones that I write in too much, so like every once a month or less and I just love doing it. I really do. One day I will show you what's really inside them individually, but right now I'm just going to tell you what's in each one right now. Let's begin. My first writing book that I really really want to show you is my Star Qualities book. Everything I know about the creative industries is in this book. Whether that's on theatre, TV, acting, performing, music, it's all in here. And I've just done it in a great order. I will show you one day everything that's in here. I'm still making it right now as I go and I just love everything I've put in here. Oh, such a good book. Tell you about production. The next book I write in is my freelance journal. I made this my fairy self to remember all the experience I do. I am a freelancer in photography and filming and I write it all in here to remember all the experience of how different businesses when I'm working with them for like a day or a month. Just put it all in here. A freelancer is somebody who is a journalist or a photographer and they work with different companies at different times. And I remember all the work I do on freelance, I put in here. Photos, problems, experiences, I put it all in here just to remember what it was like and all the things I learned. My next creative book is my creative industry address book. I got this cover book in works and I cut it up at the sides to make it an address book. Every person I've met face to face who works in the creative industries is in this book. Whether they work in theatre, they can play an instrument, they've been in a production TV or a film, they're in here. I just made this a few days ago so I still need to put some of these contact details in here. My favourite writing to do is writing about my dreams and a lot of them are in one of these books. I have three dream books. My fourth one's on my laptop but oh, I've had too many you know and I just love looking back at them. There's so many I've had. Oh, I've had dreams about me in TV shows, me as a mermaid, me in high school again oh. and I've had too many dreams. I just love writing them down whether they're terrible or not or scary or not. I just love writing them down. It gives me a good story to write and seriously if I could publish anything this would be the thing I'd publish. All my dreams out to the world. If you want to see them some of them are on Wattpad. I would give them a read. My next creative writing book is not a spell book from Descendants. This is my once upon a time note where a character is born. When I write in this book, anything I imagined, like a world or a character, I put it in here. And once it's written in here, it comes to life. If you want to know all the characters in the worlds I've imagined, then check my podcast out called World of Dreams, where you hear different characters and worlds just to regain your imagination. It's something I'm really proud of that I've made, a podcast series, I'm really proud of it. Just about so many different characters that could be mermaids or mutants or world, that's like Avatar. <laughs> It's all from this book. I love the cover of this book. Even though it's Descendants, it's mine now. My next creative writing book is this one. I don't have a name for it, but when I write in this book, I've made monologues. And I used one for an audition. Didn't get the part, but I'm glad I like made it up in my head and wrote it down to never forget it. So, that's that book. My next creative writing book is this one. And this one doesn't even have a name. 
it's just a bunch of thoughts and ideas I've put in here about shows I should do, next creative writing book I should do. It's all in here. You can see I've ripped some out and put some back in because, well, I have done that. And that's that writing book. And the last writing book is my Disney fan drawing book. I draw in here of Disney characters meeting other Disney characters. For example, if Ariel met Olaf, what would it look like? It would look like this. And that's mostly all my creative writing books I wanted to show you. There's more I want to show you and you will see a lot more in the future. Individual videos of every single writing book I have separately, you will see them. And right now I've just showed you some of my writing books. There's a lot more to come. Anyway, if you've got a writing book, please tell me what it is down below in the comments. Right now, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to me, Danger Debs. Thank you for watching.